What we're doing today is we are working on a Honda Odyssey FL250, 1983, I think. Um, we got the motor pulled because the clutch was messed up. Hey, here's our problem. Right here. That's supposed to be spring-loaded like these ones. You can't even pull them ones apart. But the little springs broke. Let me see if I can show you that. Right there. Springs broke, and it's supposed to be like that one. So I... But we pulled the motor off. It was just two two bolts. One there and then one down there. Then the carburetor, exhaust, and then a little bit of wiring. And then a couple of guards to get it out. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to pull this clutch off. So what you're going to need is, this is just a category pin from a tractor. And it's the right thread. It's three quarter inch thread. Or it's three quarter inch by 24 thread. And then that'll thread right into there. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to pack that full of grease. And then you're going to put this in there. Thread it in. And then um, you'll tighten it up. And then it should pop it right off because of the pressure from the grease being back there on the shaft. Then it should, in theory, pop it off because the threads are pulling on it. So, hopefully that's what it does. Otherwise, we'll have to figure something else out. So once I get to it, I'll show you how I, what happens. Okay, so right here's the grease that we're going to be using. It's just an old tube. So just take that, stuff it in there as much as possible, hopefully. Something like that. Now, take your pin, and then you're going to thread that in. Maybe. There it goes. You might need a little bit more greasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to need more grease, so we'll be right back. So we've now got the thing completely filled with grease. More Teflon tape because the other stuff fell off inside. Try to keep as much of that in there as possible. It's getting some pressure to it. That's all I can do by hand. It's definitely got some pressure to it. Can't keep the motor from spinning over. Okay, I'll get back with you once we figure out a way to keep this motor from spinning over. Driver in the weight, so, and then he's stepping on it to keep stepping on it to keep the motor down. So now it shouldn't turn over, hopefully. Looks like it's doing good so far. There it goes. <laughs> it worked. And that's how you remove a clutch with grease hydraulic pressure. Thanks to my friend Jeff from work for the tip. It worked out really good. <laughs> 